check, check, check. Are Okay.
check. I put the I'm a huge catch. I was a bad chat broad stick something uh do uh down here the other day now here by uncle but no really was all Check, 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 Maple. It does sample the check check yes. Yeah. yeah. Check. I know. I've been home. Seems like you're just sounds um, uh, over my late. I over late. Uh, okay. Check. 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 Did that different? Yeah, sounds Okay. Check. Check. Cap now. And our eye. It's just. Sound. That. I love it. Live animals have certain. That was. That was my. That's not open. Okay. Cut it up to come out better. No, it's better. Bad. That is better. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know. Right. So this and then going to change. Your sound better. Okay. Uh, um, and one. I can't remain too much, but I heard it a little more. Uh, um, okay. It's great. Do me a favor and, and you like your ears when you scream. Okay. Sit work the behind. They get it onto a chat or stoke. How is that? Uh, okay, we're good. Okay. Uh, how is it doing? Oh. Check that. Hold on. Okay. okay. It's the house. I got you, but it's not. 
It's not. No. Uh, uh. Contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. My favorite subject in school is math because I've always liked it. My favorite movie is Miracle because Legs Feed the Wolf. Last summer, I went to Martha's Vineyard with my friend Ben and I hung out at the beach. My goals for the season are to make it far, maybe get some playoffs and have some good friendships with the boys. My goals for life are just to have a successful life and just have fun. What I remember most about being a sailor is is the bus rides with the boys, the team dinners, and just the friendships. My name is Ryan McNamara. I'm a freshman, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones financial advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. If there's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Luke Borgerding, and I'm a senior at the high school. I'm number seven, and I play defense. And this is my fourth year on the team. I've been playing hockey since, I don't know, a very young age. I also like to view other sports at the high school, especially watching the other kids play and compete. And I would like to go to college either in Colorado or California, but I'm not sure. I might take a year off first and then go into college, but definitely plan on going to college at some point. Uh, I might play club hockey at college, but that would probably be just about it because it's way too hard. (laughs) In 10 years, uh, I see myself hopefully starting a family, settling down and enjoying a life of relaxing. And outside of school, I also am involved in hot tub cleaning. So uh, I drive around and clean hot tubs with my buddy Matt. (laughs) Uh, My favorite subject in school is probably math, just because it seems like it's the most meaningful favorite movie um that's a tough one there's a lot of great movies so i can't really choose one last summer i worked a lot and i also went on a river trip to desolation gray canyon on the green river and it was a life-changing experience getting tossed around by some massive rapids definitely try that out once in your life my goals for this season are to make it to the ship and to be a team and get far and my goals for life are to not live life we're looking at money, but to live life looking at happiness. What I'll remember most about being a sailor is my teammates and everyone I've met throughout the years and gained friendship and experience with. I'm Luke. I'm a senior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. 
Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. I'm Peyton Tritz, and I'm a senior. I'm number 30. I play goalie. I've been playing hockey for 15 years since I was two. I only play hockey, no other sports. I'd like to attend college at University of Wisconsin-Madison, and I hope to play hockey in college. In 10 years, I see myself being a sporting agent and just living the life. Outside of school, I'm not involved in anything other than hockey. My favorite subject in school is uh, physical education because that's what I excel at. My favorite movie is Hacksaw Ridge because it's action-packed and just dope movie. Last summer, I worked at Catamount Golf Course. Real hard work. My goals for this season are to go far in playoffs and make it a fun season. My goals for my life is to be successful. What I remember most about being a sailor is the rowdy crowds and the friendships that I made. Peyton Tritz, senior, proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. Hey, Sailor Hockey fans, PJ Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on KTYV, Sports on FM and 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game, and let's go, Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Quinn Morton, and I'm a senior in high school. I'm number 26, and I play defense. I've probably been playing hockey for about 10, 11 years. I also like to play golf during the summer because it's just a good hobby. I like to go to college at Mines, and, uh, yeah, I'll try to play there in college at their club level. And in 10 years, I see myself with a good job and looking to start a family. Outside of school, I'm involved in not really any other extracurricular activities. My favorite subject in school is chemistry. My favorite movie is Hacksaw Ridge because it's just a really good film and I like the way it was made. Last summer I worked a lot and I went to Washington D.C. to see my grandparents. Um, my goals for the season are to try to win state and just be seen as a leader on and off the ice. My goals for life are just to have no regrets and just be happy with where I'm at. Um, what I remember most about being a sailor is having the team around you and knowing that they have your, your back at all points. I'm Quinn Morton. I'm a senior in high school and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. 
Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Steamboat Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection 879-8000 or visit at SteamboatResorts.com. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. Hey, I'm Sean. I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm number 21 playing defense. I've played for seven years. This is my first year on the high school team. I also like lacrosse and surfing. I like to go to college in California or Hawaii or somewhere with a beach. I try and play in college, but I don't know. Maybe. I'll see how it works out. In 10 years, I hope I'll be living out of my car and climbing mountains and surfing and just kind of traveling up and down the west coast of north and south america you know outside of school i'm in teen council student council fbla stuff like that you know my favorite subject is not ap physics probably math my favorite movie is pulp fiction it's got some great one-liners in there it's pretty funny it's got some good action too last summer i went backpacking for three weeks in leadville mountain area and i went to california a couple times I surfed a lot. My goals for this season are to get better, have fun times, and to win a lot. My goals for life are to surf a lot, be happy, be successful, and make an impact. What I'll remember most about being a sailor is probably all the team bonding and the team dinners in the locker room and stuff. My name's Sean. I'm a sophomore, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spot. Light on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. Steamboat Dental Center. Go Sailors! Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint and power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all your home needs place. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Don't move. The face-off is just moments away. Now we join the call of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on 98.9.
Brian Harvey live at Howelson Ice Arena did not want to step on Shania Twain and her version of the national anthem as we get ready for Steamboat Sailors high school hockey action. Your Steamboat Sailors taking on one of their mountain town rivals, the Summit County High School Tigers. The Summit High Tigers coming in with a 2-3 and three record on the season. Your Steamboat Sailors sitting at 5-1. Starting in goal for the Summit County Tigers, number 33, Jake Mallory. On D, number 17, Nick Davis. His D partner, Luke Gosnell, number 4. At forward, Josh Dresden, number 11. And number 12, Mac Vonenberg, will be at center. And at the other wing, Isaac Eland. For your Steamboat Sailors starting in net, Peyton Tritz getting the start tonight. He is undefeated on the season right now, and he has been red hot. At forward, Jonathan Kaminsky, David Thiel, and Cameron Colombo, Quinn Morton, and Grant McNamara getting the start at forwards. These are the boys that actually made it to the captain's practice over the holiday. Ernie said he was rewarding. He only had six or seven players there. And uh, they get to start tonight here. We might see some line shifting. But the Steamboat Sailors have been red hot. One loss on the season. They didn't get a whole lot of sleep. They got into the hotel at 1 o'clock and got ambushed by the Liberty Lancers down in Colorado Springs. That's their lone loss in the season. Otherwise, they've been relatively dominant. Sailors control off the faceoff. D to D, Grant McNamara with his first game of the season. Over the red line, fires the puck in deep. Back behind the summit cage around the backside and out the left wing. Side but not out. Good back check there by your steamboat. Sailors keeping the puck in. Bounces off Johnny Q's skates. Sailors control D to D. McNamara with the puck. Can't control. Out over the blue line, up to Theo. Theo to Colombo. Colombo streaking in. Left wing side. Down to the goal line. Back behind the net. Looking for someone out front. Puts on the brakes in Gretzky's office. Loses the puck. Gets a little help back there from Theo. Out to the blue line. And that one's out and we'll get an offside call. With 6-12 left in the first period. Just underway here on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat Sailors Hockey brought to you by our friends at Doc's Auto Clinic. Taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank. The Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank member FTIC. Sailors control once again off the faceoff. In the neutral zone. Beckett with the puck. Gains a red line. Fires it in. LaPointe and Kelly behind the net battling a couple of green shirts shot goes over Mallory and Beckett keeps it in at the blue line near side the point with the puck back to Kelly in deep puck high in the air glove down and taken and here come the Summit County Tigers gain the red line fired in nope they're going to call an ice on the play and it's going to come all the way back to the Summit County end 15-40 left in the first, one nothing to score. Face off here to the glove side of the summit goal. Curtis Maltby on the left wing here. David LaPointe at center, works the puck back. Borgerton can't handle it, goes into the neutral zone. Off the half boards. He fires it up, right wing side to Kelly. Kelly back to Borgerding. Borgerding slowing it down from his own goal line. Back behind his own cage, coming D to D. Up to Maltby. Maltby can't get it out. Puck taken away. High shot over Tritz. Nate Kelly banging the far boards. Puck taken away, and here come the Summit County Tigers. Odd angle shot. Tritz holds the post and makes the stop. Rebound comes out. Right wing side into the neutral zone. It goes. Fired right back in offside. Summit, the Tigers forced to tag up. Sailors winding it up from their own end. This is Borgerty. Coming coast to coast. Over the blue line. Shot! And that one goes off Mallory's glove. And ricochets into the netting. And we'll have a face-off here in the Summit County end. Sailors getting some fresh legs. We'll see Griffin Maltby on the point. And his point partner is Kempers. Kempers keeps the puck in off the faceoff. 
And a nice job at the blue line, pre- pinching there. Now the puck goes into the neutral zone. Kaminsky giving chase. Puck bouncing around. Here comes Summit. Big hit there. No penalty called. As says Summit County forward lost his footing. Colombo back to Borgerty. Behind the net, that's Malpe. Griffin Malpe with the puck. Malpe winding it up. Right wing side. Up to Kaminsky. Off the sideboards. Kaminsky firing up to Colombo. And that one goes offside. Sailors forced to retreat. Colombo tagging up. Kaminsky tagging up. And finally they're on side. But it's giving the Summit County Tigers an opportunity to wind it up out of their own end. Good job in the neutral zone. Sailors fire it right back in. Puck bouncing around. Pinballing all the way down to Kempers. That's going to be an icing call. And we're going to get a face-off all the way down in the Tiger zone. 13.57 left in the first. one nothing to score. You are tuned to Steamboat Sailors Hockey. Brought to you in part by Alpine Lumber. Employee-owned and operated. The contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. Face-off here to the stick side of the Tigers' goal. Back to Morton on the D. His shot goes wide. Back behind the net and out into the neutral zone. Morton with the puck, retreating. Back behind his own net, winds. Nice little pirouette move there. Morton showing some nifty stick work here. Dangles, retreats back behind his own net. Dangerous pass there. Sailor's able to break up the play, though, and push it into the neutral zone, where it's fired right back into the steamboat end. Puck pinballing around here. And finally... Flipped into the Steamboat Zone, where it's picked up by the Steamboat D into the neutral zone. Ripley giving chase. No ice on the play. Puck back behind the Summit cage. Wrapped around the backboards. Kept in by Kempers at the blue line. Sailors battling for it. Good job by Steamboat here. Puck kept in by Ripley. Ripley battles. He's got Thiel behind him. Ripley and Thiel grinding. Back behind the... The cage where it's picked up by Grant McNamara. And here come the Summit County Tigers into the neutral zone. Puck taken away by Steamboat. Good defensive play there. By number 12, Tate Doris. Puck flipped in back behind Mallory in the Tigers' cage. Good job here near side by LaPointe. And Curtis Malpe to keep the puck in at the blue line. Good forecheck there, keeping the puck in deep. LaPointe with the puck in Gretzky's office, looking for someone out front. Can't get the pass. Gets his own pass, puts it in deep to Borgerding. Borgerding centering pass. That one deflected wide and kept in at the point by LaPointe. Say that ten times. Beckett now with the puck, winding it up from his own end, puts the brakes on. Comes up with left wing side. Up to Nate Kelly. Kelly over the blue line. Into the Tiger end of the ice. Puck batted out of the air. Beckett does not get called there for the interference. And here come the Steamboat Sailors. Cross ice pass over the red line. Long shot wide of Mallory. In deep goes Steamboat. Colombo battling for that puck. That's Curtis Malpe. And Borgerty, a nice job keeping the puck in at the blue line. Controlling, slides it across the ice to the far faceoff circle, but no one there. Puck chipped off the glass and out into the neutral zone and down to the steamboat end, where it's picked up there by Jonathan Kaminsky. Kaminsky from behind his own net. Cross-ice pass to Beckett. Beckett out over the red line. Beckett fires it in deep. Colombo behind Mallory in the Tigers' net near side corner Sailors control Kaminsky cycling looking for a pass out front back to Griffin Malpe long shot from the point can't get through puck nearly tipped there by Dakota Kenyon and here come the Tigers roaring it out they fired off the half boards and that's going to be an ice and we're going to get another face off here in the Tigers end it's been all steamboat early not a ton of quality shots but the Sailors are certainly keeping the puck in the Tigers side of the ice We've got Johnny Q Kaminsky Colombo and off the face off there for steamboat number 20 Dakota Kenyon tries to get a shot off centering pass Splits the defenders and goes all the way down to Peyton Tritz and the Sailors' end. 
Sailors, good job there. Hustling down. Number 15 there, Sean Gurley. For the Tigers, able to touch that puck up. No ice as it came off the Sailor stick. Puck ping-ponged all the way down to the Tiger end. And here come the Tigers out over the red line, firing the puck deep. Tritz handles that one as it goes just wide of the net, off the backboards, and picked up by the Sailors D. Winding it up is Steamboat. That's Griffin Malpy coming coast to coast. Malpy loses a puck. Back to Thiel. Thiel. Oh, can't control. Dangerous play. Shot on Tritz. Kick save. Nice pad save as he gets in the butterfly position. Puck goes into the near corner here. Still in the steamboat zone. Thiel with the puck now. Puts on the brakes. Cross the goal mouth. Cross ice pass now. Looking for McNamara. He can't handle and Here come. The Tigers back the other way. Odd angle shot there by Caleb Mallory. And that one wraps around and goes out the other side. And that's going to be an offside. 9.14 left in the first. We're tied at zeros. You're tuned to Steamboat Sailors Hockey. Brought to you by Steamboat Dental Center. Dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witte and the team or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Face off just out of the Steamboat Zone. On the offside call against the Tigers, Ripley on the faceoff. Tries to control it back, taken away there by Bevelance. Bevelance, cross eyes pass. Carlson couldn't handle it for the Tigers, but he does keep it in far side. Back deep to Bevelance. Puck wrapped around the far boards behind Tritz and the Sailors' net. Steamboat trying to work it out far side. Retreating back behind the net is Tate Doris. He loses a puck. Oh, a big shot and a nice stop by Tritz. Nice control here by the Tigers as the Sailors are unable to get the puck out of their own end. This line looks a little gassed right now. 8.33 left in the first. 0-0 the score. Longest time that the Tigers have spent in the Steamboat zone. Long shot on Tritz. He turns that one away. Steamboat picks it up from their own end and breaks the puck out. Headman pass up to the blue line. Long shot there. Goes wide by James Bernstein. Puck in deep. Steamboat forechecking in the Tigers end. Good job there by Morton. Morton shot goes wide. Picked up there by Number five, David LaPointe. LaPointe shot. Deflects off Mallory. And here come the Tigers streaking out of their own end. Good back check by Steamboat. And a good job at the blue line there by number 13, James Bernston. Bernston takes the puck away. Gets it up to LaPointe. LaPointe wraps it around the net. Looking for a man out front. Borgerding! His shot stopped by Mallory. Kept in at the blue line there. Borgerding. Works it in deep. Bordering, pinched in, got the shot. Kept in by Beckett, near side. Puck wrapped around, not out. Puck backhanded into the neutral zone and all the way down to the Steamboat end. 7-14 left in the first. 0-0 the score. You are tuned to Steamboat Sailors Hockey. Brought to you in part by Mountain View Car Wash, helping the sailors clean the competition between town and the, and, and the mountain. Go see Travis and the, gangs, and the gang, Steamboat's only full-service car wash. Colombo on the faceoff, controls it to his near side wing. Back to Beckett on the blue line. His wrist shot tipped there by Kurt, by Griffin Malpe, excuse me, by Curtis Malpe, the older Malpe. Curtis behind the net. Sailors trying to keep it in at the blue line. They can't. Winding it up, Nate Kelly. Kelly over to Beckett. Beckett along his own blue line, over the red line now, near side. Flips it up for Colombo. Colombo battling. He's got Curtis Malpe behind him and gets some help from Kelly. Kelly across the faceoff. Back to Beckett from the blue line. His shot can't make it through the crowd. In front, deflected wide. Steamboat controls. Curtis Maltby is looking... For Kelly out front, can't find him. Now Borgerding battling for the puck. And Steamboat able to keep it in. Nice pass there by Kelly. 
and Curtis Maltby can't control it, but a good job there by Borgerding to get back, take the puck away, and the puck is banged in by Borgerding. Borgerding keeps it in at the blue line again. Over to Kelly, back to Borgerding. Borgerding, nice move at the faceoff dot. Looking for a man back door. He had him in Curtis Maltby, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Puck goes wide, and it's going to be cleared, and that'll be an ice. So the Steamboat Sailors had a bunch of opportunities there, but couldn't convert. 0-0 the score, 547 left in the first. You are tuned to KTYV. Sports on FM at 98.9. Tomorrow, we'll be carrying the FCS College Football Championships in the morning and then segueing right into NFL football. Steamboat controlling. Back to Griffin Malpe at the point. His shot through. Another save by Mallory. And kept in far side. That's LaPointe. LaPointe looking for Kempers. Kempers pinches in deep. Pushed off the puck there by a Tiger. Another shot. Another stop by Mallory. Sailors and getting some opportunities there as Kempers. And now we've got some extracurricular activities as Sean Gurley doesn't want Kempers to get too close to his goaltender. Jake Mallory playing a nice job between the pipes for the Summit County Tigers right now. Has seen quite a few shots from the Steamboat Sailors. 0-0 the score, 519 left in this first. Face off here to the glove side of Mallory. Went off the netting, and it's going to be another face off here in the Summit County end. Sailors are going to get some fresh legs on the ice here with 5.16 left in the first. Grant, Grant McNamara now up at forward. Versatile player. Four-year letterman here for your Steamboat Sailors. Feel to McNamara. Shot! Goal, McNamara! A beautiful backhand pass from Thiel. On the far goal line, Grant McNamara was sitting back door, one-timed it into the goal, and a beautiful tic-tac-toe pass. And that right there is an early candidate for the Docs Auto Clinic sick play of the game. Taking care of you by taking care of your car. So McNamara started the game at defense. Tanner Ripley also getting an assist on the play. I did get it right. McNamara from Thiel. That doesn't always happen. McNamara, though, that line's still out there. They're pretty fresh as they just came out on the ice. Sailors on top, 1-0. Quinn Morton back at the blue line. Centering pass to Thiel. Couldn't pull the trigger. Puck chipped off the sideboards but kept in far side. That's Borgerding with the puck. Borgerding skirts down behind the net. Circles. Looking for a man out front. He had Thiel. Couldn't get his stick on it. And it looks like the net is off its moorings. 4.44 left in the first. Sailors on top from the Grant McNamara goal. Face off here to the stick side of Jake Mallory. Looks like we've got a couple of Mallory brothers out there. Jake is a sophomore. His brother Caleb, number three, is a forward. And he's a freshman. Young Summit County team here. Puck goes back to Malpe on the blue line. He has to retreat to the blue. Couldn't handle it. Retreated into the neutral zone. Fires it in. Sailors have to tag up. And here come the Tigers back the other way. Streaking down is Bevelance. Bevelance is shot. Stopped. Turned away by Tritz. Rebound comes out into the far corner. Back out to, to the blue line where it's handled there by Gosnell. Puck taken away. Here comes Steamboat. Headman pass on side. And a good opportunity there for Curtis Maltby. Just couldn't handle it. As David LaPointe flipped the puck up. And the Sailors control D to D. Beckett with the puck near side here. Over his own blue line. Up to Kelly. Nate Kelly over the blue line. Into the Tiger end. Curtis Malpy with the puck. 
He pushes it behind the net for Kelly. Ke- Kelly battling for it, getting some help here from LaPointe. Puck off the sideboards into the neutral zone. Kurt Griffin Malpe winding it up. Malpe coming coast to coast over the blue line, over the red line. Chips it off off the sideboards and fires it back behind Mallory and the Tigers net. Winding it up is Kelly. Kelly in the slot. Shot. Rebound. Gets his own rebound. Can't bury it. Nice stop by Mallory. Winding it back up. Steamboat with the puck. That's LaPointe. His shot goes wide. Excuse me. Colombo there. Cameron Colombo battling in the corner. Picking it up now is Beckett. And the Sailors can't control. Have to retreat into the neutral zone. Forced to tag up. Kelly tagging up. Now for checking. Steamboat able to keep it in. Colombo firing it up off the half boards. Ricochets back out into the neutral zone where it's picked up by the Sailors D. Up to LaPointe. LaPointe working for some open ice. Far side. Gets it to Kelly. Down to Colombo. Colombo puts on the brakes looking for a man out front. He's got a couple of green shirts on his back though. Colombo comes away with it. Colombo puts on the brakes. Loses his footing. Good forecheck here by Steamboat. And unfortunately, a better job by the Tigers to get it out. But the Sailors take it away, and Kempers takes a shot just wide of Mallory. Back out to the point it goes. Long shot. That one's blocked by a sliding Tiger defender. Puck up. Here comes Boninger. Boneberger. What a great name that is. Boninberger couldn't control. Puck now picked up by Tate Doris. Doris works it up into the neutral zone where it's picked up by your Sailors. Kaminsky in on the forecheck here. Taken away momentarily by the Tigers, but Steamboat gets it back. Doris far side. Doris is not big. Doris battling for the puck. Just a sophomore. Puck off the half boards into the neutral zone. McNamara takes it away. McNamara battling for it. Now Ripley. Puck pinballing around. Finally picked up there by Borgerding. Borgerding coming coast to coast. Now he retreats. Winds it back up. Keeps it in. No offside. Literally Puck straddling the blue line there. Nice job by Borgerding. Borgerding puts it in deep. Borgerding can't control. Back out to the neutral zone. Where it is picked up by Morton. Nice dangle there by Morton. Loses a puck momentarily, but gets it back. Puck in the neutral zone. Morton giving chase. Tigers fired off the boards here. Near side in the neutral zone. Good job by the Sailors not letting anything happen. 30 seconds left in this first period. Sailors up one nothing. Up to Thiel. Thiel to Malpe. Malpe. That's Curtis Malpe. Fires it around. Mallory tries to handle the puck off the backboard. Loses his footing. Got tripped up on the boards. Goes down, but does a good job getting back into his crease and ties the puck up. And with 21.1 seconds left in the first period, the Sailors are going to see if they can get another something-something going here off the faceoff. Off the stick side here. Excuse me, the glove side of Mallory. Off the faceoff. LaPointe walks it in. And a nice stop by Mallory. So LaPointe at center won the faceoff. Was able to work his way around. He's got Curtis Maltby to his left. Took the shot, but no rebound. Good job by Mallory to snuff that one back. Back to Borgerding. Borgerding to Morton. Morton shots blocked. Uh Uh-oh, here come the Tigers. Right wing side. Over the red line. Over the blue line. Streaking in. Eight seconds. Shot wide. Around the backboards. Here comes Steamboat. Headman pass. That one's turned away. And Steamboat can't come up with it, and that's going to do it. After one period of play, your Steamboat Sailors on top. One-nothing.
Big shout out to our friends at Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full service auto body shop, where you always meet by accident. Russell's Auto Salon at 879-1515. Also a big shout out to Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing tools, grills, garden, and more, offering you knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. And Sports Med at Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you're feeling short-handed. Pretty clean period of hockey. No penalties either way, which is a first for your Steamboat Sailors and certainly something that Coach Steele wanted to work on. We're going to take a quick break here. We've got some Sailor spotlights on the way, and then I'll come back with some first period statistics and second period action. It is Steamboat Sailors, ice hockey action. Your Sailors on top of the Summit County Tigers. one nothing live from the Howlson Ice Arena on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Hockey on 98.9. Sponsored by Dots Auto Clinic, Yampa Valley Bay, Alpine Lumber, Mountain View Car Wash, Steamboat Dental Center, and Chris Bucket with Edward Jones. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. And check out the complete schedule while you're there. It's also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance, the Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsor. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Hockey. Only on Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Spring. And SteamboatRadio.com. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology where we have gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Nate Kelly and I'm in 12th grade. I'm number 19 and I play forward. I've played on the high school team for two years before this. I don't play any other sports. I'd like to go to college in the east, maybe at UNH or somewhere in Vermont. I will probably not play hockey in college. In 10 years, I see myself graduating from college, living probably back in Steamboat. I'm going to ski a lot. I don't really have any major plans. Outside of school, I'm also involved in uh, ping pong. I'm a part of the ping pong club, and I play a lot of ping pong. My favorite subject in school is PE, and that's because I like to play the games and all the other sports that we do. My favorite movies are James Bond because they have a lot of action. Last summer, I chilled out a lot with all my friends. My goals for this season are to win and have fun. My goals for life are to graduate from college and high school and have a successful life. What I will remember most about being a sailor is playing home games. I'm Nate Kelly. I'm in 12th grade and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. 
Taylor hockey fans, PJ Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and let's go Sailors! Hi, this is Docs from Docs Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Docs for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Docs are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Docs Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat sailors. This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints and stains. And we're proud to support Sailors Ice Hockey. Easy to find Alpine Lumber located on Pine Grove Road past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Hello, my name is Matthew Kempers, and I'm a junior in high school. I'm number 16, and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for 12 years, and this is my second year on the team. I also like to bike race, play lacrosse, and occasionally hit the tennis ball. Uh, I'd like to go to college at CSU or MSU. I'll probably play some club hockey in college, but I'm been looking to focus more on my academics. Uh, I I see myself in 10 years with a great job and not letting money be an obstacle for me. Outside of school, I'm involved with hot tub cleaning, with Luke Borgating, part of the Buffet Club, part of Steamboat Springs Team Council, and my favorite subject in school is shop because it gives me a lot of freedom and lets my mind be creative. My favorite movie is Avatar because there's a lot of action scenes in it and the blue people are fighting for what they love. Last summer, I went out to the vineyard and hung out with uh, Quinn Keefe, and I went to Belize on a mission trip with the Methodist Church, and I traveled around a lot in Colorado. My goals for the season are to bond with the boys and make it as far as we can, but also have lots of fun doing it. My goals in life are to have a great family, settle down, get a good job, and do what I love, which is hanging outdoors. What I will remember most about being a sailor is the team dinners and just the great community and fans that we have at our home games. My name is Matthew Kempers. I'm a junior and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint and power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all your home needs place. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones financial advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. If there's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. It's time. 
time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Hey, I'm Sean. I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm number 21 playing defense. I've played for seven years. This is my first year on the high school team. I also like lacrosse and surfing. I like to go to college in California or Hawaii or somewhere with a beach. I try and play in college, but I don't know. Maybe I'll see how it works out. In 10 years, I hope I'll be living out of my car and climbing mountains and surfing and just kind of traveling up and down the west coast of north and south america you know outside of school i'm in teen council student council fbla stuff like that you know my favorite subject is not ap physics probably math my favorite movie is pulp fiction it's got some great one-liners in there it's pretty funny it's got some good action too last summer i went backpacking for three weeks in leadville mountain area and i went to california a couple times surfed a lot. My goals for this season are to get better, have fun times, and to win a lot. My goals for life are to surf a lot, be happy, be successful, and make an impact. What I'll remember most about being this sailor is probably all the team bonding and the team dinners in the locker room and stuff. My name's Sean. I'm a sophomore, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spot on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day Day, seven days a week to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Don't move. The face-off is just moments away. Now we... On 98.9. We are back live at Howelson Ice Arena. Got a nice crowd here at the Howie Dome. We could still use you. We got plenty of room here. Come on down. If you buy a food or drink from the concession stand, it benefits the Steamboat Springs High School Nordic team as the Booster Club is on hand here today, serving up goodness. After one period of play, your Steamboat Sailors on top of the Summit County Tigers, one nothing. although they have been dominating on the shot clock. 17 shots for your Steamboat Sailors in the first period versus six shots for the Summit County Tigers. Peyton Tritz in the goal has turned them all away for your Steamboat Sailors, but not really getting contested, <laughs> which sometimes is not good when you're playing goal. You get cold back there, you lose your focus. But I'll tell you what, the senior Peyton Tritz has been fantastic in the goal for your Steamboat Sailors this year. Sailors looking to improve their record to 6-1 and one on the season if they can hold on to this lead. And of course the Summit County Tigers will do everything they can to avoid that. 
These two teams have been playing each other since they were eight years old, playing mite hockey. Most of them know one another, have played camps together, and the like. And they certainly don't like each other when they're on the ice. We are underway with second period action. Sailors controlling off the faceoff. Puck taken away by the Summit County D and fired deep into the Sailor zone. Around the backside, picked up by LaPointe. Over the red line, over the blue line. Loses a puck on this wet ice. His shot deflected wide there by his own player. Back behind the Mallory and the Tiger Cage. Nate Kelly with the puck. Kelly works it around the far side. Looking for the point out front. Again, the ice is just a little sticky. His shot goes wide. And it's flipped all the way down to the steamboat end. And that's going to be an ice. Nate Kelly couldn't get a hold of it there. But the faceoff is going to come to the glove side of Mallory. And the Tiger Cage. 16-13 left in the second. Sailors on top, 1-0 from a Grant McNamara goal. Puck pushed into the corner, controlled by Kelly. Kelly brings out a cross around the circles, loses it. And here come the Tigers, roaring out of their own end. Good back check there by Steamboat, taking the puck away momentarily. In the neutral zone here, fired off the half boards around the backside, picked up there by Kempers. Kempers can't control. Gets it back to his D-man, and Nate Kelly now into the neutral zone, looking for a centering pass, loses the puck. Steamboat back to Kelly. Kelly shot. Rebound goal! La point on the Kelly rebound. Just sitting out there in the slot. Came in and cleaned it up. And the Steamboat Sailors go up 2-0. 15-29 left in this second period. So a big goal for your Steamboat Sailors. As David LaPointe So Kempers and Kelly get the assist. Kelly got the shot. Big rebound there. Mallory technically deserves a hand in it, but he he wants nothing to do with it. So Sailors on top, 2-0. Here come the Tigers. Luke Gosnell with the puck, winding it up, taking it in deep. Back behind Tritz. Still controlling the puck. Good battle there. Tate Doris takes it away. Doris is just a sophomore. He's listed as a forward, but gets some time at D. Up to Kenyon. Kenyon over the blue line, centering pass there. Looking for Colombo. Colombo battling. He puts the puck in front of the goal now. Steamboat can't control. Colombo gets it back in Gretzky's office behind Mallory. Puck taken away. Long cross ice pass by the Tigers. They're going to get some fresh legs as... That one ends up being an icing call. 14-28 left in the second. 2-0 to score. Steamboat Sailors Hockey brought to you in part by Yampa Valley Bank. The Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank member, FDIC. Face off here to the glove side of the Tigers' goal. Griffin Maltby on D. Long back to Beckett on the point as well. His shot... Sneaks through the crowd, but Mallory up to the task. Ties it up quickly. We'll get another face-off here. This one again coming from the glove side of the Tiger Cage. Tanner Ripley can't control the face-off. Kept in far side there by Colby Beckett. Puck flipped in. Far side, now taken away by the Tigers. Long cross ice pass to the far blue line. Steamboat takes that puck away. Good job by Ripley battling for it. 
We've got Ripley and Grant McNamara out there. The line that started this game. McNamara flips it back to Maltby. Maltby can't handle it. Oh, dangerous pass bouncing in front of the goal now. Whacked at there by a Tiger. Tritz makes the stop, and here comes Ripley back out the other way. Ice is still a little sticky and a little slow. Thiel can't control. Offside, delayed. Now Ripley back for it. Ripley puts on the brakes, comes back out the other way. Good forecheck here by the Tigers. Beckett works it up into the neutral zone where it's picked up by McNamara. McNamara battling in deep with a couple of green shirts on him. Long shot from the point by Griffin Malpe. That one's turned away by Mallory. Malpe keeps it in at the blue line momentarily. Bounces over his stick where it's picked up by Beckett. Beckett retreating back behind his own net. Fires it up off the backboards looking for Kelly far side. Puck taken away. Centering pass there. Nice job by Beckett to turn that one away. Nate Kelly now winds it up. Headman pass there to Thiel. He can't control. Sailors are going to get some fresh legs. Uh Uh-oh, dangerous change. Sailors caught a man down here. Long shot. And Tritz makes the stop. Peyton Tritz getting a few shots here early in the second period. Sailors on top. 2-0 here. Faceoff is going to come to the glove side of the Sailors' goal. Sailors moving left to right on your radio dial in all white, black pants, black socks. Red numbers. Wrapped around the far side. Long shot. Goes wide of Trish. Yonka battling far side. Now Nate Kelly winding it up. Kelly skating out of his own end. Over the blue line. Over the red line. Still with the puck controlling. Over the blue line. Puck bouncing around dangerously. And Mallory able to tie it up. And it looks like number 13, James Bernston, in there. Gets a backhand. And hit Mallory in the glove. And his defenseman did not like that at all. A little extracurricular activity. No whistles. Nobody going to the sin bin. Off the faceoff there. Controlled by Steamboat. Wrapped around the backboards. 12.03 left in this second period. Sailors on top, 2 nothing. On goals from LaPointe here in the second period and a first goal by McNamara. Centering pass there, taken away by Gostel. And the Tigers. He gets it up, left wing side here to Bonenberger. Bonenberger, cross-size pass in deep. To Elin, that one's turned away. Sailors contend for it back behind their own net. Nate Kelly now with a puck, puts on the brakes. Kelly, cross ice pass, looking for Quinn Morton. Morton, and that's going to be an ice as it's just a little outside of his reach. 11 20 left in the second, face off down in the steamboat end. Going to be to the glove side of Peyton Tritz. Steamboat had a clean first period. Nobody, in fact, on either team going to the penalty box. Whistles have been relatively limited, and that's actually something that Steamboat Sailors coaching staff has been striving for. Puck across the goal mouth, chipped off the glass and into the neutral zone. Dave LaPointe streaking down, gets it before it crosses the goal line, no ice. Circles the net, passes it out front. Bargaining shot off the backboards. And they were a little too eager to get the rebound as it bounces past them. And now we've got a whistle. Nets off. It's mooring again. 10.47 left in the second. 2-0 to score. I'd like to thank our friends at Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. We've seen a lot of lumber thrown around here in this game. LaPointe on the faceoff, controlled by the Tigers, kept in by Curtis Maltby. He fires it around the backboards. Colombo battles for it. Cameron 
Gets it down deep to LaPointe. LaPointe, Colombo are built similarly. Low center of gravity and very thick. I would not want to go into the corner with those two boys. Colombo battling for the puck. He's got a Tiger pinned up against the boards right now. Puck chipped off the half boards, not out. LaPointe. And now into the neutral zone. And here come the Tigers back the other way. That's Carlson. Good job by the Sailors D and Luke Borgerding to get back. We've got a whistle on the play and our first penalty of the game. Looks like it's going to go against LaPointe. High sticking is the call. Two minutes. And the Steamboat Sailors get their first penalty of the game. It's actually a two-minute minor for roughing. I thought it was a high stick. Nonetheless, two minutes in the box when you find yourself shorthanded. Call Sports Med at Yampa Valley Medical Center, UC Health. Puck controlled here by the Tigers in the steamboat end along the blue line. Shot through traffic but turned away. And into the neutral zone it goes. Johnny Q. Kaminsky on the penalty kill. He is flying around. Love it. D to D they go. Tigers having a hard time getting out of their own end. Over the blue line, long shot. Turned away by Tritz. Back to the blue line. Controlled by the Tigers. D to D they go near side. Long shot through traffic. Goes wide of the Sailor's cage. Back out to the blue line. Controlled there by Davis. Davis, that pass crosses the goal mouth. No Tigers able to pick it up. Steamboat tries to clear it, and we've got another penalty here, and it looks like Kaminsky's going to go to the Sinbin. Well, maybe not. Looks like this penalty is going to be against the Tigers, so we'll be skating four on four for about 53 seconds. Holding is the call, number 15 in the penalty box, Sean Gurley. For the Tigers, face off down in the summit end. Summit controls the face off. Colombo, though, on the four check. And number four, Gosnell goes down, but no call. And here come the Tigers streaking out the other way. This is Carlson. Carlson has a breakaway. Good back check, though, by the Sailors D. That was Borgerding to get back into the play. Excuse me, Maltby. Excuse me, Quinn Morton on the back check there. And the puck... Back into the steamboat end. Morton with the puck. Morton flips it. Cross ice to Kenyon. Kenyon at his own blue line. Works it out near side. Looking for Kempers. And the puck into the steamboat end. Taken away by Colombo. Colombo circles Mallory. Playing the body. Loses the puck. And here come the Tigers. Out over their own blue line. Over the red line. Into the steamboat end. Taken away once again by Morton. Morton. Nice little move there. Off the half boards, and the Sailors now have a man advantage for 50 seconds. As their penalty releases. Steamboat's at full strength. Five on four, puck in deep, 746 left in this second period. Steamboat on top, 2 nothing. Nice little behind the back pass there. To LaPointe. LaPointe over to Kempers. Kempers near side here. Back to Colombo. Long shot by Kempers, and that one stopped by Mallory, and we'll get a face-off here. With 21 seconds left in the power play for Steamboat, 7.27 left in the second period. Sailors on top, 2-0. Face-off is going to come to the Tigers' glove side. LaPointe, Borgerding, Colombo on the ice on this power play for Steamboat. Nate Kelly back on the point. Also looks like Griffin Maltby pitching up at forward. 
some confusion on the Summit County net, uh, the Summit County bench, as they only had three men on the ice. They get their fourth man out there. Puck controlled off the faceoff. Back to Borgerding. Borgerding to Kelly. Kelly's shot goes wide. Colombo near side. Colombo works it back behind to Malpe. Malpe out to the point. Battling for that is LaPointe. He can't control. Back to Borgerding. Borgerding to LaPointe. LaPointe now to Malpe. And the teams are at full strength, so the Sailors retreating. Malpe with the puck, looking for Borgerding. Borgerding winding it up in front of his own cage. Puts on the brakes. Loses the puck. Gets it to his D partner, Malpe. Griffin Malpe, head man pass to LaPointe. LaPointe coming in on the break. Backhand. Oh, a nice stop by Mallory. Made a pad save there. And here comes the puck trickling into the neutral zone. Retreated by Nate Kelly. Kelly dangles but loses the puck to the referee. At the blue line, Kelly gets it back. Offsides. No, cross check. Looks like Kelly is going to go to the sin bin. So we had a clean first period. And now all of a sudden, Steamboat getting up close. And personnel and, and personal with the two minutes. Hey, Kelly going to the box for your Steamboat Sailors. Two minutes for cross checking. So the faceoff is going to come all the way down to the steamboat end of the ice. We'll take this opportunity to thank Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris Puckett today at 879-1851 for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Faceoff controlled by the Tigers. Back to the point they go. Long shot, blocked, turned away. Morton now battling for it. Backhanded into the neutral zone. Controlled by the Tigers. They go D to D, but are forced to regroup here. cross ice pass there to Ben Carlson. Carlson back to the point. Shot from the blue line on Tritz. He turns it away. Back behind the net. Into the neutral zone it goes. A good job there by Beckett. Forcing the Tigers to regroup. They finally flip the puck in deep where it's picked up by Beckett. He's going to try to fire it out far side. Good job there by Steamboat and Tanner Ripley. Controlled now by Gosnell. His shot deflected up into the glass behind Tritz. Kept in near side, wrapped around the net, but not out. Gosnell with the puck on the blue line for the Tigers. Gosnell gets the puck back from Carlson. Puck in deep. Tigers on the power play, looking to cut this lead in half. Centering pass. And it looks like Steamboat's going to go to the box again. So the floodgates have opened. And for 37 seconds, the Summit County Tigers will have a five-on-three advantage. McNamara going to the sin bin. Two minutes for slashing. So McNamara and Kelly spending some quality time together. Face off down to the stick side of the steamboat goal. Controlled off the face off by the Tigers. Back to the point it goes to Gurley. Gurley shot turned away by Tritz. Back to the point. Long shot. That one's blocked there by Kaminsky. Kaminsky in the triangle right now as the Sailors have only got three men on the ice. Griffin Maltby, the defender, turns it away. Again, the Sailors doing a good job here. Long shot from the near faceoff circle by number 15, Sean Gurley. And that one is stopped by Peyton Tritz. So we'll have a faceoff here to the stick side of the Sailors' goal. LaPointe taking the faceoff for Steamboat. Five seconds here for the five on three, and then the Sailors, one of the Sailors' penalties will release. Cross-ice pass. 
And the Sailors get one man back. Nate Kelly coming on to the ice for Steamboat. Five on four for the Tigers. Tigers controlling the puck in the Steamboat end. Back to the point. Long shot. Turned away. And that one's flipped all the way down. David LaPointe giving chase. And he's going to get it. 105. Left in the one-man advantage for... Oh, centering pass! Kelly hits the crossbar! Deflects out. Kelly gets the puck back. Kelly looking for LaPointe. LaPointe shot. Deflects off a shin pad and goes wide. Nate Kelly battling in the corner. Good job here, trapping the puck. And comes away with it. Along the goal line, his shot stopped by Gurley. So a couple of... Excuse me, Mallory... A couple of chances here for your Steamboat Sailors. Sailors looking to get a shorty here. 40 seconds left in the Tiger power play. Faceoff's going to come to the stick side of Jake Mallory, sophomore goaltender here for the Summit County Tigers, who's played a good game. Sailors on top, 2-0. LaPointe on the faceoff. Scott Borgerding and Beckett behind him on the points. Puck. Saucers into the neutral zone and then is chipped into the stance. And we will get a faceoff here. To the stick side of Peyton Tritz and the Sailors' goal. 336 left in the second. Steamboat on top, 2-0. 29 seconds left in this Tigers power play. Face off down in the Steamboat end. Controlled by Summit. Summit in green. Can't get a shot off. That one's going to be taken away there by Nate Kelly. He dangles. Rags the puck down. Back to some open ice. Now into the neutral zone. Long shot. Goes wide of the Summit Tiger goal. And here come the Tigers back the other way. Tigers moving right to left on your radio dial. Over the red line, over the blue line. LaPointe back checking there. Flips the puck up, but not out. Nice job there by Borgerding. Borgerding, backhand pass to Ripley, to Kelly. Kelly, long shot, goal! Top shelf, glove side, Nate Kelly! And the Steamboat Sailors go up 3-0. As Nate Kelly was putting on a stick handling clinic, dangling over the blue line through several Tigers and set that one up top shelf glove side. So at 2.55 left in this second period, the Sailors go up 3 0. Borgerding gets the assist on the Kelly goal. And Steamboat controls off the faceoff. Puck taken away now by the Tigers. Here they come the other way. Gostel shot. Turned away by Tricks. Back behind the Sailors net. Out to the blue line. Kept in by Summit. Good job by Quinn Morton to take the puck away. He strips it. Comes back. Headman pass. That one's up to Colombo. Colombo slows it down. Shot on net. Turned away by Mallory. Tigers back out the other way. Morton takes the puck away momentarily. Gets it up to Colombo. Colombo fires it off the boards after gaining the red line. In deep. Oh, big hit by number six, Jonathan Q. Kaminsky. No penalty on the play. That could have been a cross check. Here comes Summit. Working it out of their own end. Over the red line, over the blue line. Here comes Ben Carlson. Puck taken away by Kaminsky. Backhand pass up, and here comes Steamboat back the other way. Colombo moving his feet. Backhand shot, and a nice stop by Mallory. 149 left in the second. Faceoff's going to come to the stick side of the Summit goal. Oh, and it looks like Kenyon is going to the box. Maybe goalie interference. Faceoff's going to come all the way to the other end. He went in, hit the goalie's glove late. They're going to call slashing, and that one's going to be on Mallory, the goaltender. So with 1.49 left in this second period, the Tigers are going to enjoy another power play. Sebo controls off the faceoff. Tanner Ripley battling for it. Over to McNamara. McNamara gets it back to his D-man, flipped up. 
Ripley can't handle it. No ice on the play. Puck in deep. Ripley on the forecheck. Good job by Ripley being a little pest and slows the play down just enough. McNamara now fires it up off the half boards and in deep. McNamara now giving chase. McNamara not letting him out. Great forecheck by Steamboat. That should have been a slash. No call. As McNamara gets de-sticked on the play. Puck near side. Ripley and McNamara battling for it. Finally pulled out by the Tigers. And now Griffin Maltby's going to wind it up. Retreats behind his own net. Long cross ice flip as he flips the puck all the way down. And a good job by the Steamboat Sailors on the penalty kill getting some fresh legs out here now. Long head man pass taken away by Steamboat. Off the referee at the blue line. Battling there in close. Number 13, James Bernstein for your Sailors. Tigers have to retreat to their own end. D to D they go. Now a long cross ice pass near side. Here comes Bonenberger. Bonenberger's shot goes wide, but it's kept in by Ben Carlson far side. Back to the point. Long shot through traffic, but not through to trips. Nice job by Maltby battling in the corner. Bernston now getting some help there by Kempers. Puck into the neutral zone momentarily, and that's going to do it. So after two periods of play, 3-0 to score. Summit County Tigers will have a man advantage for 11 seconds to start the third period, but it's been all steamboat. You are tuned to KTYB Sports on FM. Sailors Hockey brought to you in part by Steamboat Resorts, by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. If you've got friends calling you, coming to town, give them a call at 970-879-8000 for the Locals Connection discount. Also like to thank the Allison Agency with Allstate. Proud to ensure victory for your Steamboat Sailors and serve the Yampa Valley for all your insurance needs. Easy to find across the Mahogany Ridge. On Fifth Street, you are tuned to Steamboat Sailors Hockey. We'll be back with third period action. We've got some Sailor spotlights on the way. We are KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Hockey on 98.9. Sponsored by Dots Auto Clinic, Yampa Valley Bank, Alpine Lumber, Mountain View Car Wash, Steamboat Dental Center, and Chris Bucket with Edward Jones. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. And check out the complete schedule while you're there. Is also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance, the Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsor. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Hockey. Only on Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Spring. And SteamboatRadio.com. This is Skip Deardorf from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we're proud to support Sailor's Ice Hockey. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. Hey, Sailor Hockey fans, P.J. Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student-athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on KTYV, sports on FM and 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game, and let's go, Sailors! Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by 
taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. Hi, I'm Tate Doris. I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 12. I play right wing. I've been playing hockey for about 10 years. Other sports I like are lacrosse and badminton. I'd like to go to college at CSU or DU because they both are pretty close to home and they're pretty good for engineering. I do not think I'll play hockey in college. I think I'll mostly focus on school and getting a good job after that. In 10 years, I see myself owning a business, having a good family, and living a life. Outside of school, I am involved in working and also hanging out with my friends. I work at Salt and Lime. My favorite subject in school is chemistry because I have my friends in that class and we do a lot of more experiments than just writing. My favorite movie is Cool Runnings because it's a really funny movie and it has a good like overall moral. Last summer, I worked a lot at Salt and Lime. I hung out with my friends. I went to King Solomon and I also went to Amigos concert. My goals for this season are to improve a lot, get a good run in the playoffs and have fun. My goals for life are to get a good job, make money. What I remember most about being a sailor is the team dinners and just all the team bonds we have. I'm Tate Doris. I'm a sophomore in high school and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology, where we have gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon where we always meet by accident. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Zach Walsh, and I'm a junior in high school. I'm number 22, and I play right wing. This is my second year playing on the high school team, and I also play varsity golf. I'd like to go to college at CU because it seems like a good college. I will not play any sports in college. I'll just be getting a engineering degree. Where do I see myself in 10 years? Being a mechanical engineer. Outside of school, I'm also involved in working and golfing, of course. My favorite subject in school is physics, and my favorite movie is American Sniper because war movies are sick. I worked last summer painting houses around Steamboat and that was fun. My goals for this season are to make it to playoffs and pretty much just do good in the season overall. My goals in life are to be an engineer. What I remember most about being a sailor is the bus rides with the boys. I am Zach Walsh and I'm a junior and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace. And we aren't just paint and power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace. Proud to support your Steamboat Sailors. And see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all-your-home-needs place. 
Hey, Sailor Hockey fans, PJ Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on KTYV Sports on FM and 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and let's go, Sailors! Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. Hi, I'm Tanner Ripley. I'm a sophomore. I'm number four. I am a center. This is my 11th year playing hockey. I also play baseball. I'd like to go to college at CSU, Wyoming State, or Texas A&M. I don't think I'll be playing in college. I probably won't get a scholarship. In 10 years, I see myself with a job working with something with animals. I also see myself with a nice family. Outside of school, I'm not involved too much just chilling with the boys my favorite subject in school right now is shop because i get to have all that free time and i get to express what i like to do and what i like to build my favorite movie probably has to be lonesome dove because it's one of my favorite old, old western movies last summer i took a rafting trip and i just chilled with the boys mostly my favorite memory was the rafting trip because So while the sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detailed services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. There's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Steamboat Resort is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town, but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit SteamboatResorts.com. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Don't move. The face-off is just moments away. Now we join the call of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on 98.9.
we are back live at Howelson Ice Arena. Brian Harvey chatting with El Presidente, Mr. P.J. Wharton. I got sidetracked there. Of course, Yampa Valley Bank, Steamboat's only locally owned bank. They are lending, easy to find, between town and the mountain on Highway 40, member FDIC. Bringing you the big check of the game, and we've seen a few of them here today. Hamilton Ice Arena, of course, the home for Steamboat Sailors ice hockey action. Your Sailors on top 3-0 after two periods of play, getting ready for third period action. It has been all Steamboat. And honestly, a great game by the Summit County goaltender. Jake Mallory, the sophomore, standing on his head. The Sailors have completely outshot them and dominated this game. Looking to improve their record to 6-1 on the season. Sailors had a hard time getting on the board. It wasn't until late in the first period that Steamboat was able to bury one on a Grant McNamara goal off the faceoff and from a beautiful pass from Thiel. Nate Kelly then scored the second goal for your Steamboat Sailors. Or excuse me, he got the third goal, which is a beautiful top shelf goal. Brought the puck over and now I'm looking at my notes. Nate did get the second and the well, he got the assist on the second goal, which was put in by David LaPointe. So right now, your Steamboat Sailors up 3-0. The Zamboni is off the ice. We've got uh, a little moisture on the ice. Always slow going here. They turn off the chicken fryers that keep the fans warm to try to keep the ice rink cool because we've got a lot of bodies in here right now. Still room for you. We've got one more period of ice hockey left here at the Howlson Ice Arena. If you're anywhere near downtown Steamboat Springs, come on down. I'd like to thank Doc's Auto Clinic taking care of you by taking care of your car, bringing you the sick play of the game, which has got to be that Nate Kelly goal. also like to thank our friends at Alpine Lumber, employee-owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. We went a whole period and a half without a single penalty, and then things got away from the Steamboat Sailors. And in fact, starting this third period, the Summit County Tigers will have a power play for 11 seconds. At one point in the second period, the Tigers had a five-on-three advantage for 53 seconds, but they could not convert. Peyton Tritt's playing a great game between the pipes for your Steamboat Sailors as well. Definitely got tested a little bit more in that second period. I'd like to thank our friends at Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witte and the team or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. They are easy to find just across the parking lot. From Steamboat Medical, the Ore House, at the Pine Grove, and of course, Ski House as well. Also like to thank Mountain View Car Wash, helping the sailors clean the competition between town and McDonald's on Highway 40. Steamboat's only full-service car wash. That's Mountain View Car Wash, just across from Yampa Valley Bank. Also like to thank Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop, where you always meet by accident, Russell's Auto Salon, at 879-1515. Also like to thank Steve Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, and more. And we are underway, third period action. Summit County Tigers have a power play here for a few seconds. They control the faceoff, but have to work it behind their own net, winding it up here. Cross-ice pass. Down the right wing side, Ben Carlson working it in deep. Fresh off his failed Republican attempt at the presidency. Oh, no, a different Ben Carlson. I'm sorry. 16.33 left in the third period. Teams are at full strength now. 
icing on the call against your Steamboat Sailors as the penalty had just released. So the faceoff is going to come down to the glove side of Peyton Tritz in the Sailors' net, 16-33, left in the third. If you're just joining us, Sailors up 3-0. Steamboat in white with black pants and black socks, red piping and red numbers. Steamboat controls the faceoff deep into their own corner. Good job here by the Summit County Tigers. Pressuring here and keeping the puck in deep. Back behind the Sailors' cage it goes. Steamboat tries to work it out right side and does into the neutral zone where it's batted right back into the Steamboat end. Good job by Borger to go as uh, finally clears the puck out to Thiel who fires the puck in wide. Oh, rebound off the backboards. And Mallory, no, they say the puck went in and that's going to be a goal. The puck was sitting behind Mallory. And that one goes in. I can't quite tell if it was Johnny Q. Kaminsky who got that goal. But Mallory thought he had control over it and did not. And the Steamboat Sailors, just like that, make it 4 nothing. Let's hear who got the goal for your Steamboat Sailors. As Blair McNamara, the PA announcer, makes the call. Johnny Q. Kaminsky. Borgerding and Thiel with the assist. So your Steamboat Sailors go up 4-0 here. Just underway third period action at the Howells and Ice Arena. Thiel bangs it off the sideboards here all the way down where it's handled by Mallory, the Tigers goaltender. Back up to Thiel on the point. His shot tipped wide. Picked up now by the Tigers as they try to wind it up and out. Kept in by Beckett at the blue line momentarily. But here come the Tigers back the other way. Schwer with the puck gets a shot on Tritz. And that one is turned away. Faceoff's going to be to the stick side of the Sailors' cage. Sailors' hockey brought to you in part by Sports Med at Yampa Valley Medical Center. UC Health at Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you're feeling shorthanded. Face-off control by Steamboat, back behind the Sailor's Cage it goes, picked up there by Tate Doris. Doris can't control, fired all the way around the backboards to Nate Kelly, chips it off the sideboards here, picked up by LaPointe, LaPointe streaking in, Dangles! Backhand goal! What a shot by LaPointe as he came in on the breakaway. Nate Kelly's going to get the assist from his own end. And just like that, the Sailors make it 5 nothing with 15.05 left in this third period. And I'm not sure who's on the sound, but all of a sudden Shania Twain started singing the national anthem again. So your Steamboat Sailors light the lamp and make it 5 0, 15 05. A beautiful goal by LaPointe, assisted by Kelly. Rebound shot. Malpe with a, sh- a shot there. Back door couldn't bury it. Nice stop by Mallory. 1447 left in the third. Sailors on top 4-0. Face off here to the stick side of the Tigers goal. LaPointe, Maltby, Curtis Maltby, Nate Kelly, your forwards here for your Steamboat Sailors. Kempers on D with number 12, Tate Doris, the, the freshman. Excuse me, the sophomore. Rebound, shot, backhand. Nice stop there by Mallory. LaPointe circles back behind the net, gets it to. Maltby, Maltby, got a couple of green shirts on him, tries to center that, now up around the boards, all the way out to the point, kept in by Kempers. Kempers working it down deep to LaPointe, LaPointe's got Kelly behind the net, now the puck dangled there by Kelly along the blue line, Kelly across the blue line, his shot flex off the skate, doesn't make it into the Tiger net. Centering pass! And what a stop by Mallory. He had no clue where it was. David LaPointe let it rip. A nice pass there by Nate Kelly. 
Kelly and LaPointe played junior hockey last year in Denver. Back for their senior years, and they have grown both physically and mentally as hockey players. Hey, Kelly. Long shot from the point. Griffin Maltby buries it. Griffin Maltby, one-time shot. I'm not sure if that one was tipped in or not, but it went five-hole. Off the faceoff, Maltby lets it fly. And again, I'm not sure if that was tipped in or not. Maltby gets the goal. Ripley with the assist. So Ripley gets the assist on the Maltby bomb. Wow, he let that one fly from the point. 6-0 to score. All steamboat now as the floodgates have opened. Puck off the sideboards there. Controlled by Steamboat. D to D they go. Cross-ice pass. McNamara can't handle it. In deep, Quinn Morton now gets the puck back. Morton back to Griffin Maltby, winding it up from his own end. Maltby gets it up to Ripley. Ripley, far side, nice head man pass there. In front to Grant McNamara. McNamara in deep, battling for the puck, getting some help by Maltby. Now here come the Tigers back the other way. One on, two on two now. Slowing it down is Ben Carlson. And a nice job by Maltby at the blue line to poke the puck away. Maltby still antagonizing Carlson. Finally, the Tigers come away with it. This is Mark Bevelance. Bevelance fires a puck in deep. Down to Quinn Morton. Morton fires it off the sideboards and into the neutral zone where it's picked up by the Tigers' D. They come D to D off sides. And the faceoff's going to come just on the other side of the Sailors' blue line. 12.32 left in the third. 6-0 the score. Sailors hockey brought to you by Mountain, Car- Mountain View Car Wash. Helping the Sailors clean the competition between town and McDonald's on Highway 40. Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop, where you always meet by accident, bringing you the collision of the game. Face-off. Pushed into the Tiger end momentarily and then fired back out where it's handled by Borgerding and Beckett. Beckett battles for the puck in the corner. A couple of green shirts on his back, getting some help from Kaminsky. Out to the blue line, kept in, shot, deflected wide. Picked up now by Beckett in front of his own goal. Beckett winds it up. Headman pass. To Kenyon. Kenyon makes a move at the blue line. Walks in. Shot on angle. Nice stop there by the Tigers goaltender. But flipped out to the blue line. Kept in by Beckett. Beckett fires it in deep. Beckett again off the sideboards. Now flipped into the air. Into the neutral zone. Where it's picked up there by number 12, Bonenberger. Bonenberger in deep. Puck taken away by Beckett. Beckett wraps it around the cage. He is tired. Looks like he needs to get off the ice. Doesn't have that opportunity. Off the sideboard. Back to Beckett. Beckett. Back he hits it in deep. Sailor's forced to tag up. Beckett on the forecheck now. Fires it off the sideboards. Colombo. Borgerding battling for it. Colombo switches back on D. Yanka with a shot, and we got a penalty. Elbowing is going to be the call. And it looks like LaPointe may be going to the sin bid. Two minutes, elbowing. Sailors on top, 6 0, 10 57 left in this game. So the Sailors are shorthanded. I'd like to thank Sports Med at UC Health, Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you're feeling shorthanded. Tigers control on the power play here. Five-on-four situation. Back to the point. That one's blocked. Nice stop there by McNamara. Still controlling the puck on the perimeter are the Tigers. 
far side. Back to the point. Walking in, centering pass. Good defensive play there by Kempers. Back to the point. Along the far side, working the perimeter are the Tigers. Long high shot off the back glass. Good job by Steamboat. On top, 6-0. 125 left in the power play for the Tigers. Little give and go. Backhand shot kicked away by Tritz, preserving his shutout. Here comes Steamboat out the other way. Kempers over the blue line. Looked like Thiel might have been offsides. No call. Puck in deep. Headman pass taken away by Kempers. Kempers in the neutral zone. Fires it in deep. Good job by Steamboat. That's Theo flipping it in. Winding it up. Theo can't control. And we got a hand pass, I believe. No, McNamara's headed back to the sin bin. Talking to Coach Steele and Ripley before the game, they wanted to eliminate the penalties. Sort of interrupting the flow of the game. Well, they did so for the first period and a half. And another five-on-three situation. Two-man advantage here for the Tigers. They control back behind the steamboat net. Dritz in the butterfly. Back out to the point it goes. Long shot stopped by Tritt. Up high, Curtis Maltby, the lone forward here. Quinn Morton and Griffin Maltby out on the ice. So we got the two Maltby brothers as the Sailors control off the faceoff. And that one's going to be wristed all the way down to the Summit County goal by Griffin Maltby. Winding it up. All right, the Tigers out over the red line, over the blue line, putting on the brakes there is Gosnell. Gosnell, long cross-ice pass, back to Gosnell on the blue line. Quick passing there to Elon. Elon with the puck, his shot gets through to Tritz. He makes the stop. Five more seconds on this five-on-three. And then for a minute, 14... The Tigers will have a one-man advantage. Face off to the stick side of the Sailors' goal. Uh, head referee talking right now to the scorekeeper. Not sure what the conversation was about. Controlled here by Summit. Sailors' penalty releases. Cross ice pass. That one goes up into the netting, and that should be outside of the zone because it went off of Elon. So, with a 6 0 score, I see what the conversation was about. The mercy rule is in effect according to Chassa rules, and the clock is running. So, the Sailors are just fine with the clock continuing to run, as that means the penalty is winding down and not sure why the summit coach is talking right now but he's wasting time on his power play now it looks like he called a timeout forty three seconds left clock now stopped it was running he wants more time back on the clock but I believe Six goals is the mercy rule. So now there's complete and total confusion on the ice right now. Revs are talking. Faceoff is going to come just outside of the steamboat end. 43 seconds left in the power play. Controlled by steamboat. Kelly takes the puck away and turns and flips a long shot on Mallory in the Summit goal. Summit winding it up. 27 seconds left in the power play. 8.05 left in this game. Nice job at the blue line there by your Steamboat Sailors. Keeping the puck out. Forced to regroup. Tigers. 
Now they slowly work it into the steamboat end. Good job by Quinn Morton, far side. Morton can't control the puck. Sailor set the box up, back to the point. Long shot through traffic. That one's tipped wide. Teams are now at full strength. Boom off the sideboard. Steamboat trying to work it out of their own end. Long shot. Glove save. And that's going to get the whistle. Now the clock is going to continue to kick at tick as the mercy rule is in effect. Summit County coach must have called a timeout on the far side just to stop the clock and preserve the power play to no avail. 6-0 the score. Steamboat on top. Face off down in the sailor's end to the glove side, or stick side, excuse me, of Peyton Tritz. Buck control by LaPointe. He works it back behind the net. Borgerding can't get it out. Good pressure there by the Tigers. Centering pass taken away by Ripley. Ripley off the boards, added to the neutral zone as it's banged by LaPointe. Picked up now by the Summit D. Fanned on the pass and a good forecheck here by Thiel. Thiel and Ripley in deep, getting some help by LaPointe. And Borgerding, Ripley with the puck. Good job on the Sailors' forecheck, keeping the puck in the summit zone. Winding up is Ripley, gets it back to LaPointe behind the net. Oh, centering pass and an opportunity. And once again, the net is off its moorings. 6 17 in counting. As the puck is winding down here, 6 nothing to score. Your Steamboat Sailors on top. Our Docs Auto Clinic sick play of the game has got to be the Nate Kelly goal as he dangled in the blue line, working his way around three players and then buried the puck on a shorthanded goal, top shelf. That is our Docs Auto Clinic sick play of the game. Docs Auto Clinic taking care of you by taking care of your car. Sailors on the forecheck now, keeping the puck in deep. Teams at full strength. Beckett at the blue line, and Ripley battling for it. Oh, head man pass here. Working in, and a good job by Steamboat to get back. Break the play up momentarily. Puck bouncing around. Kept in at the blue line by the Tigers in deep. And there's Beckett battling for it. Beckett and Rip and Thiel in the corner. LaPointe coming away with it. LaPointe with a head of steam over his own blue line. Coming coast to coast over the red line, over the blue line. Coming in goes top shelf. And that one is turned away and goes up in the netting. And I believe it's going to be a face-off outside of the zone because it didn't hit anyone. Way top shelf. Got a field goal on that one. Five minutes in counting. We've had several big checks of the game here by your Steamboat Sailors. I'd say Quinn Morton got a big poke check here. Far side, he played a nice game on the D-line for your Steamboat Sailors. Puck in deep, Johnny Q. Kaminsky battling for it. Puck around the net, taken away there by Bevelins. He fires the puck down, no icing on the play. Ben Carlson... Looking to center it. Back out to the blue line. Carlson controls. Nice pass by Carlson. Works it in deep. Taken there by Kruger. Kruger looking for a man out front. Sailor steal the puck. And here comes Curtis Maltby back the other way. Bernston almost offside. Puts on the brakes at the blue line. Keeps himself onside. Puck in deep. Behind the Tiger cage. At the blue line. Kept in by Doris. Date Doris with a nice play. Kaminsky centering pass. And here come the Tigers. Out into the neutral zone. Good job by Beckett. Kempers walking it in. Kempers. Can't get the backhand shot. Kempers. Cross ice pass. In front of the net. Oh, and Bernston had an opportunity. Couldn't dig the puck out of his skates. And here come the Tigers roaring back the other way. Long shot, and Tritz is going to... Well, he fell on it moments. He tied it up, caught it. Had some pressure, and they call the whistle. And with 3.10 left in the third period, clock is winding down here. I'd like to thank our friends at Alpine Lumber. Employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. 
Palumbo, cross ice pass. Kelly in deep. Kenyon with a shot, turned away by Mallory, who's had a nice game despite letting up six goals. He has been peppered with shots. Nate Kelly with a shot through a crowd. That one's tied up. 2.30, face off down here in the Tigers' end. I'd like to thank Monica Chavez, doing a wonderful job on the board, as usual. Working overtime this Friday night. Sailors basketball and hockey will return, but we'll be playing on our brother station, or sister station, The River at 100.5 KCOQ. Here come the Tigers the other way. Long shot. Tritz turns them away. A golden opportunity to break the shutout. And the puck flipped into the neutral zone by your Steamboat Sailors. D to D, the Tigers go along their own blue line. Fired up off the half boards. And that one's going to be an ice with 146 left. So Sailors basketball starts early, 9.30, the pregame show. The girls tip off at 10, and then the boys immediately following that. As we'll be carrying college football and the NFL wildcard games. Puck off the half boards in deep. All the way down, giving chase. Tiger centering pass. Errant goes all the way back into the neutral zone where it's picked up by number 15, Gurley. Gurley tries to work it up, but the puck is taken away by Borgerding. Borgerding, nice move at the blue line. Waits for his man to come on side. Shot looking for Ripley. Far side. One side, one minute left in this game. Sailors are going to come away with their sixth victory of the season with a 6 nothing game right now. And, of course, the Tigers looking to get on the board. Offsides is going to be the call. Faceoff's going to come down as it's intentional. Oh, no, it's going to be a penalty. High stick. And the clock is winding down, and that's a penalty against the Tigers. Sean Gurley, the captain, the senior, goes to the sin bin here. 17 seconds left in this game, and Peyton Tritz, one of our stars of the game, getting the shutout for your Steamboat Sailors. Nate Kelly with a goal and assist. And your Steamboat Sailors coming away with a big win. So we'll have Steamboat Sailors hockey tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock. The Chatfield Chargers come to town. And we'll play that game on the river at 100.5 KCOQ. You are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM. Big shout out to all of our sponsors, Docs Auto Clinic. Yampa Valley Bank, Alpine Lumber, Steamboat Dental Center, Mountain View Car Wash, Russell's Auto Salon, Steamboat Ace Hardware, and Sports Med at Yampa Valley Medical Center. Also a big shout out to Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office, Steamboat Resorts by Window Vacation Rentals, and the Allison Agency with Allstate. Thanks for listening. We're going to return to regularly scheduled programming on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9 and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the best.